Hello friends, this video on integrals part 4 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 4. Let's learn some properties of indefinite integral that will be helpful to solve the integral problem easier in a faster way. The first property says that you take derivative of fx, you integrate this with dx, you get fx. That is f dash x dx, integration is nothing but fx. Or other way around, you have fx dx, this integration value, you differentiate this, you get fx. Please note, in both the case, we are getting fx. So you integrate the differential, uh, integrate the derivative or differentiate the integral, both are same, that is alright. You integrate derivative. or you differentiate integral both will give you fx correct so you have you have a derivative you integrate this the first case you get fx plus c you have an integral this guy you differentiate this guy you find derivative of this you can get the second property says that two definite and in indefinite integrals with same derivative leads to same family of curves and so they are equivalent. This is we have seen example we have fx is equal to 2x right and we got uh, the integral was uh, I think x square plus k. So we got so many curves but they were all equivalent curves and belong to the same family. You have fx plus gx you integrate this this is nothing but you integrate fx first, you integrate gx first and then sum or you first do the sum and then integrate both are one and the same. For any real number k that is constant because k is constant is a real number you say k fx dx or you can take out k outside. Right? If you have k inside you can take this guy k outside. This guy. For example I tell you you have let's suppose 5x square dx integration this is nothing but 5 constant x square dx. We will solve some questions and this concept will be clear but the, the constant part, the real number parts you can take outside. The next one is nothing but the merge of these two. You merge these two you get this that is you have uh, uh, some constant into function, constant into function. So, so many functions, so many constant this is nothing but you take this uh, constant first function add again constant to function you keep doing this till n k and fn both are same so this is nothing but the merge of these two properties you get this property so what is this the first is you integrate a derivative or you differentiate an integral both are same you get fx then uh, you have this number you have two indefinite integrals and they are all uh, different curves but they are all same family of curves and they are equivalent and you have fx plus gx you integrate or you first integrate fx and then integrate gx you sum it's all the same if you have a, a constant real number k you have k fx dx you can take the k outside so let's prove this first property the first property say f dash x dx integration is nothing but fx plus c so we know that f dash x is nothing but d by dx of fx this is something which we know correct let's integrate both sides so you integrate both sides you get integration of or integral of fx dx is nothing but integral of d by dx of fx and this is nothing but fx plus some constant. Correct? You integrated a derivative, you get function. And this is nothing but my first property. Let's try the second property. In fact, if you see here, we have used this second property, which we am going to prove now. This is nothing but my second property. Right? So, uh, let's prove the second property now. 
let f be anti derivative of smaller i write here let capital fx be anti derivative of small x that is d by dx of capital fx is equal to small fx correct now let's integrate both sides so if you integrate this guy this guy becomes fx plus some constant and this guy becomes fx dot dx correct now i have to prove this guy this guy is nothing but differentiative of integral so let's now differentiate both sides so if i differentiate this guy now d by dx of fx plus c is nothing but d by dx of integral of fx dx correct this is my part and this is equal to this derivative of fx plus c and derivative of fx plus c is nothing but fx why because this guy is nothing but fx correct you see here so thus we can prove this also so what we have seen here you take a function integral you find derivative that is derivative of integral is, is equal to function or you have a function you take the derivative find integral that is integral of derivative is a also function plus c let's prove the second property so if i have two functions uh, let there be two functions f and g such that uh, derivative of fx dx is equal to derivative of gx dx and we have to prove that integral of fx dx is equal to integral of gx dx plus c please note we have to prove this given the derivative of this guy is equal to derivative of this guy proving this is very simple actually so this is equal to this given so i can write this as d by dx of fx dx minus d by dx of gx dx correct this is equal to zero because this is equal to this so this minus is equal to zero now let me take d by dx uh, common so what i'll get is d by dx of integral of fx dx minus gx dx correct is equal to zero or derivative of something is equal to zero that means that function is constant or i can take uh integral both side so what i get is integral of derivative is nothing but function so that is nothing but fx dx minus integral of gx dx and this becomes constant why because it is zero for, for any zero number you find an integral that is constant and that is what I have to prove. So you see that I have proved this. So very simple, just I had this function, I found derivative. And uh, I found integral. Integral was constant. And thus I can prove that integral fx dx is equal to integral gx dx plus c. So the point to note here is if there are two functions and the derivative of those two functions are equal, that means those two functions are similar functions and they differ by constant you see this guy and this guy has to be similar why if the derivatives are same that means these two guys the one in, inside the square box or rectangular box has to be similar so this whole thing is similar to this whole thing since it is similar you have a constant because you can move the curve up and down. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, 
study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.